Welcome back, everybody. This will be episode three of my Space Engineers series. Okay, I haven't finished uh, transferring all the items into that container. What I think I'm going to do quickly is I need to get those power solar cells and some batteries sorted out on here while we got some daylight left so we can get some charge in those batteries because we're going to lose it all. And I want to get some power going as soon as I possibly can. So I'm going to quickly create. See what I want to do. Where's the sun? A setting over there. I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out. Let me build out this way and have like a little solar farm. over here and then I'm going to raise it raise it up oh no oh, oh, keep past it there you go and that and that So, go around. Gotta be careful that I don't get to the point where I can't. See, that's what I didn't want to do. Uh, let's raise it up one more. And then we'll build a. No, we won't. Not having a jetpack kind of sucks. Do I want to go up one more? See, I'm worried that if I do that, I'm not going to reach it. Although I could temporarily do that. Build up a basic scaffold. Just so I could reach. Let's go up one more. Kind of want a solar farm up. Sort of high so it's not impeding anything that I want to build down there. And that I could potentially build underneath it. that and then we'll put a flat one Where's that yes I can okay and then we'll build the solar farm out six panels out that way and it gives me enough height I can build stuff underneath it if I had to so we've lost the sun already And then we'll put the panels on top of those. Uh, so if we go in here, we now try and grind these these solar panels off. I can get up there without killing this entire thing. Oh god! Get rid of that block. I'll get up. No, it's not going to let me do that anymore. Uh. How much jetpack have I got? I've still got quite a bit of hydrogen. If I just use that just to boost myself up. There you go. Okay. Now I need to get up to the top and grind those solar panels off before they get destroyed. Uh, I think you get all the material back. This is not going according to plan. Okay, actually, I'm going to grind off these end ones first. So I should, in theory, get all that stuff back. Let's 
take a quick look. Did I get all the solar? Yes, I got all the solar cells back. I think that's enough to uh, to build up one. Find this one down as well. Okay, gotta watch out how much I'm carrying. See, so like there. Okay. I'm gonna get back down safely. Oh dear. Yeah. Let's go put those down now. Okay. Uh, let's lay these down. I think I'm going to lay them down flat. Um, not sure what the best way to do it really would be, but. Let's start by doing that. Let's put down. Oh, I don't know. Can we start by building one there? Okay, that's one. Then we'll just lay them out. Two. Three. Four. Five, and we need one more. Which I think we're going to have to go down and build out. Let's uh, use up the material we've got. Quickly weld these back together. Well, at least we didn't lose all our power generation and we kept all our batteries as well. So that's something. I think we got incredibly lucky on that crash landing. Okay, go down and grind down a couple more. Uh, I'll be right back when I've I've welded up the rest of these solar panels. There's no point you watching me grind those down, run over there, weld it up, run back, grind it down and weld it back up. So I'll be right back in a second. Okay, I haven't I haven't done that. <laughs> Plan B. Uh, I think what I want to do is actually want to get a battery placed down. Um, so what I might do is I might actually construct uh, some sort of, I don't know. No, maybe not. Let's put the, uh, let's get a battery going so we can store some power. Now I know when I grind those batteries down in there, I'm not going to get the power cell components, I don't think. Or I'm going to get something that... Oh, I don't know. I don't know I'm just blabbing. Uh, let's go battery. Stick you down. Oh, we've already got that on our bar. See what that's going to need. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create... I'll stick that down there for now. If I can just get one battery going, then I can start grinding down the stuff that's in uh, in the ship. So it's power cells. Okay. What have I got in here? A bit of everything. Destruction components. Okay. Go. I need a bunch of power cells. Which I don't I think we have to do. I might have some in the the cargo container. Let's have a look. Okay. I worked out why the assembler wasn't working as well. The, uh, or why I couldn't transfer anything into it, is because it's not linked into the system anymore with the conveyors. But if I go over to the assembler directly, it allows me to disassemble things if I want to. 
Uh, I haven't done that yet. I think what I'm going to try and do is get a basic refinery and assembler set up on this platform. Which is why I want to get the battery going. Just in case something happens with that ship and it topples over more and I lose the critical components. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. Have you? Okay, we've got a working battery. Which is good. And that gives us a little bit of charge. Uh, so what I could do now is if I had a, a bank of batteries over here. I wonder if I can get all four of those back. And I'll stick a bank of four there. And then if I need another row, I can put another row on top. So let's plan this out. The goal is to get where we were on that ship and get four batteries with the six solar panels, the assembler and the refinery, If I've and a med bay. And if I've got all that that set up here, then I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm good for a little while, and that's the that's the initial goal, is to get back what we had on there on a stationary platform. That's not going to explode, and and just go into oblivion. Uh, now, if I made that battery, do I? Where do I want? I can always move the assembler and stuff later, I guess. I just I like the idea of having like rooms or I don't like just putting stuff down willy-nilly, but I think I'm going to just to get going. Uh let's make a How many how many is wide is that? It's 1 2 3 one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I like to do odd numbers as well. And then I think what I'm going to do is off to the side. If I make this the main like the primary walkway or the primary corridor. And then I'll have a... I'll make off a sub room I'm not sure how the walls work in this this game how do the walls work let's have a look you, you can put up walls I assume uh, okay so they're blocks no oh, no you can get half wall cover full wall cover um I'm going to assume that that's going to be a solid wall going down there. So this will be the, this could be a wall, this could be a room up to the side, we'll make that. So we'd have a, like a doorway here. Is that going to be big enough though? See, I don't know, oh, I could extend it out that way. That's the beauty of being on a flat ice area is that you can uh, keep extending it out I guess uh, I mean that will do that will be enough to get going and then if there was like a, let's see. okay so that's five wide I mean I think I can just put the assemblers and stuff Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Um, let's just get something going to start with. Start with... Let's put the... Uh, oh, okay. G. Uh, we're going to look for the... Uh, oops. Assembler. Where are you? No, I don't want the advanced one yet. Basic assembler. Stick that onto the bar, and then we need the refinery. Advanced refinery, door refinery, refinery sign. Uh, stick that there for now. 
and then we're gonna we'll link all those up with conveyors and stuff. Uh, so that's a lot bigger than just going to third person for a second. So I can see what I'm doing. Ooh, that's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. To be honest, uh, I want to leave. See, that's the thing. I want to leave some room to put. I think you can put upgrades on these. Can I turn that flat? No, not that way. Good grief. It's going to be huge. Not sure how the upgrades work on it. There's meant to be like something where you can put a power upgrade. Okay, let's just stick that. You know what? I'm going to stick it down. And we can build around it. Stick that in the corner like that. That's got all the ports on that side, I think, then. Yep. Uh, do I want to put it there? Stick it there. Okay, so we've got a refinery there. Let's put down... Now, ideally, I want... want these linked in as well. Um... I can link them in with a conveyor system across the top. Let me. Oh dear. Wish I knew what I was doing. Two. Let's put it. Okay. I am for now. I think. Gonna do that because I think it's got. I think that links into there. Like that. Okay. And I think those two then should link together. Let's try and get these built up. Need motors and displays. First person. So what we're going here? Got any motors? No. Got some. Couple of displays. Let's put that in there for now. And you don't need you. Um, I wonder if I ground down the. If I ground down the assembler. That's in here. Let's take, let's take this battery off before it dies. And put that over here. I'll get there. I'll just, uh, just I'm having trouble remembering how all these blocks go to see power cells. That's what it didn't create for me. It just gave me uh, that's what I'm worried about these batteries. You see, it's it's I got one down there, so it's not that dire and catastrophic yet. But as soon as you start grinding them down, I don't know if I've got enough materials to build them back again. Question is, if I put down a station block and a ramp, and another ramp. No, it's not going to let me. It's intersecting with that. So I have to grind that off. That might now be enough to let me. Hope I'm not making a mistake here. Still intersecting with that one. Ah oh dear. 
Okay, now can I build? Yes. Okay, that should be enough to let me grind down this. Nope, don't put your jackpack on. What are you doing? I had our space. Okay. Hopefully that gave me all the components I need to finish this off. And then that'll give us an, a working assembler over here. Four. Okay, so that's working. Let's turn that off for now. So I don't want to drain the battery. Uh, I think I'm also going to temporarily put a uh, ramp there so I can get up and down. Uh, let's also switch our battery into recharge mode. We've got quite a while before daytime comes around again, so I'll try and get this refinery set up as well. Uh, do we want to take off next? See, the other thing I think what I'm going to do, let me I think I'm going to pull that ore detector off next and that large thruster engine and get the components and store those away in the in the block so if that does topple it doesn't crush those and lose us i need those ore detectors for the first ship that we're going to build Let's see how much of this we can build we need a ton of steel plate over here dump all this stuff in i've oh, got a bunch of steel plate okay should give us enough steel plate to do that Our steel tubes and motors. Okay, I think we're actually going to have enough to get those up and running. Steel tube. Nope. No, I don't have any motors left either. Okay, but if I grind down that, that engine, that'll give me a bunch of motors. I think. Yep, it did. Now I'm going to start grinding some of this down. Keep an eye on my volume. Okay. Those, and then this thrust needs to come off as well. Nope. Run out of space. And then that's, I think those are the only components that are liable to be destroyed if that topples over a little bit more. Yep, can't get up there. Large steel tubes. Stick all this in there. Okay, I might have some steel tubes in the uh, in that conveyor, uh, not the conveyor, the uh, cargo container. Let's get this ground off first as well. That's got some. Oh, okay. I've quickly run on. Stuff in there for now. Come here. Get on. Okay, let's dump you in there. Didn't realize that was going to drop so much stuff, to be honest. Okay. Get you. Inventory full. Those, those large engines take a lot of, uh, lot of components. Come on, just jump on the stupid block. Get you in there. That's all safe for a second. Grab all the stuff before it all... Okay, got managed to pick it all up. Okay, let's grab some, as many of this large steel tubes as we can out of here. 
those in there. Okay. Run those over. You know what? I think because of what I'm going to do, temporarily, until I work out where the walls are going to go, I'm just going to build a flat base. Because it's going to be easier to jump. Instead of jumping up and down and up and down and up and down. That will let me... Okay, so now we've got an assembler and a refinery. We've got battery, we've got power, and we've got a storage container. So we are... If, if anything really bad happens on there, and we lose more stuff, I've got resources around that I can refine and create stuff with now. Uh, the next thing I want to really get hold of is... Did the med bay just get destroyed? I think it might have done. I think the med bay was right there. That's that's a problem. Because that needs I think medical components. Um hmm. not sure. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Let me grind of this down. Oop. Okay, full up again. Uh, I am... Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to grind down those solar panels. Put them over on there ready for the morning. Uh, I'm going to transfer all the items out of that cargo container. And put them into that one over there. And hopefully by then it will be morning. So, unfortunately, I think that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you could see your way to hitting that like and subscribe button, I would very much appreciate it. Until next time, toodles!